Hey YouTube, it's Alan here and welcome back to my channel. And today we got some really exciting news coming in from IGN. And this news is the announcement of Don Cheadle, of course, in Armor Wars. Now, you know what you're saying? We all knew about that. We all knew Armor Wars was coming out. But we thought it was coming out in a TV show. And this article right here, it states, instead of it coming out in a TV show, is getting the movie treatment. They're making it into a movie, a much smaller, condensed, tight story that gets to the point without all the filler, without all the bullshit, straight to the story, just how we like it. Now, that to me is a huge, huge improvement over the current platform they're currently doing it. Because up to this point, all the side characters was getting their own TV show, which isn't bad necessarily. Stuff like Miss Marvel, I rather enjoy, as well as Loki and things like that. But I will admit, in those shows, there was a lot of filler. In fact, that's one of the biggest problems that Disney Plus has been facing since they started their little TV shows. Because shows like Obi-Wan Kenobi, shows like Book of Boba Fett, was plagued with a lot of freaking filler. So much so, that after each show will come out, a fan will go in get all the footage and condense it down to a fan edit, which is usually way more superior than the original cut. Now, I take this as Disney learning from their mistakes, seeing how those shows didn't play out so well due to all the filler and being proactive, right? Getting the show in advance and cutting it up and putting it back together as a more condensed story. Some people may not like that format. Some people may want the extra filler episodes, but I believe this right here is probably the best route they could go. Now, the question I have is what is the method of release? Are they gonna A, release this as a movie in theaters, or B, keep it on Disney Plus, but release it as a Disney Plus exclusive movie? Now, personally, I prefer just me being greedy to keep this on Disney Plus like it was supposed to be where I only pay my membership and watch it for free versus having to go back to the movies, take my wife, spend like $40, $45 on our tickets and watch the movie, right? I'd much rather do this at home than going there. That's just me personally. Now, I also do understand the draw to do this theatrically. Because if they do this theatrically, they can make a whole lot of money if they play their cards right. And that only depends on if they can pull in the big enough audience. Because some people may not really be into watching Armor Wars. Considering the fact that the main line hero, Tony Stark, is no longer there. But I have to admit, I'm not one of those people. I want to see where his story goes. Because he is the legacy left behind by Tony Stark. Because up to this point, everybody was believing that Spider-Man would be Tony Legacy. But at the end of No Way Home, everybody forgot who Peter Parker was. So with no Peter Parker, there is no legacy. So people aren't looking at Peter to be the next man up. They're looking at Rhodey. And this right here is a way that Rhodey can prove himself, move forward, as well as potentially take the mantle as a new leader. The reason why I say Rhodey will be a really good leader for the Avengers is A, military background. B, he was one of the first sidekicks our other hero introduced in the MCU. In fact, he was one of the only extra heroes outside the mainline Avengers in Phase 1. So because he was one of the diehard Phase 1 characters, I can see him leading the new generation. So that's the only reason why I say it. And plus, on top of that, with him, as well as Ironheart, we can get some sort of way where we can bring back Tony Stark as an actor, as an AI, or a cameo in either of their projects. Because both of them are really tight with Robert Downey Jr. So, with that stated, I do believe this could bring in enough money to sustain a theatrical run. But once again, I got to say, I'm a greedy dude. I want my cake and I want to eat it too. So I want this to be on Disney Plus where I can sit down. I can buy my own food, eat my own food in my own home, watch the movie with as many people as I want 
and still enjoy myself versus having to sit in the movie theaters and watch it there. Now, I have to say this. This right here may be the way they move forward with Disney+. Plus. They may make a whole bunch of movies exclusive to Disney+, Plus in order to prolong or to push the MCU forward, which is something I am not really upset about. I'm rather happy about it, actually. I think it's a good idea. I think it's really sustainable. Um, they can cut off a lot of filler, which will ultimately save money in the long run. Now, if they do choose to release some shows as, of course, shows, I'm okay with that as well. I believe that both of these two platforms can exist together. We can have our movies and we can have our shows, all exclusive to Disney+, Plus, as well as have our bigger movies on the big screen. Now, with that said, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're a big fan of watching it on Disney+, Plus, or if you prefer to have everything as a movie in the movie theaters. Or are you like me? We prefer a hybrid of the two where you can watch your big movies at home and just relax. Because personally, that's where I'm at. So, with all that down and completely out the way, do the three great things. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.